There's a road in downtown Hamilton that can take you up and down the Niagara Escarpment. It's not ideal to take, especially seeing as the Ketty Access Trail is not too far away, but it is an option. The road I'm talking about is the Jolly Cut. Let's get cycling. We begin cycling on John Street South. Now, this is not part of the Jolly Cut, but I figure I would include it so you could see what it's like approaching Arkeldon Avenue. Now, Arkeldon Avenue is technically the Jolly Cut, so if you hear someone say Arkeldon Avenue, they're probably talking about the Jolly Cut, and if they say Jolly Cut, then just know that it includes Arkeldon Avenue. At this intersection here, if you travel straight through, it is John Street. If you turn right, it's St. Joseph's Drive. You can't turn left. This intersection is very strange in that regards, but uh, if you turn left after passing the intersection, now you're going to be on Arkeldon Avenue going up the Jolly Cut. Uh, it is unfortunate that you can't turn left onto St. Joseph's Drive because that would lead you to the trail that connects to the Ketty Access Trail. Uh, but instead, if you are in this section of the city and you want to get onto the Ketty Access Trail, you have to travel this section of Arkeldon Avenue, which has Sharrows. And I don't really like that. I would prefer taking St. Joseph's Trail and connecting a little bit lower down. But uh, to do that, you actually have to be on St. Joseph's Drive already to go straight through. Or you have to be coming down the Jolly Cut and turn right onto St. Joseph's Drive. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here we are, Ketty Access Trail. You turn, you can either go up or down from there. And if you stay on Arkeldon Avenue, you have a bicycle lane. And this is great because it is an option to go up and down the escarpment. Is it the best option? Eh, probably not. <laughs> uh, cars travel up and down quite fast. There is a speed limit of 50 kilometers an hour, but nobody in their vehicles travels that slowly. Uh, the speed that I'm traveling at in this video is about 24 kilometers an hour. I can do that because I have a pedal assist bicycle. Uh, anyone else that has just a manual, I shouldn't say manual because manual has to do with hands, but uh, if you have a pedal bicycle, then then you're going to travel a little bit slower because it is about a five degree incline, which is a little bit steeper than the Ketty Access Trail. And because you're traveling a little bit slower and there's fast moving cars and there's no protection, it can be very intimidating. The route itself is 1.4 kilometers long when counting it from St. Joseph's Trail, or not St. Joseph's Trail, but St. Joseph's Drive all the way up to Concession. It's about 1.4 kilometers long. There's the confusion that, you know, there's technically Arkeldon and there's technically the Jolly Cut. I count them as one road. I say the whole road is Arkeldon and this section, this curve that we're traveling through, that's the Jolly Cut. It's cut into the escarpment, but it, yeah. Anyways, that's just my opinion on the matter. The score that this route receives is a 74. It is not as good as, say, the Ketty Access Trail or the Chidoke radial trail or the escarpment rail trail. Uh, they score significantly higher and they get you up the escarpment, but, um, you know, two of those routes have gravel and they're not good for people that have road bikes. But this route, the one benefit of this is that there is no speed limit because it is not a shared pathway with pedestrians. So you can travel faster than the posted 15 kilometers an hour that the Ketty Access Trail has. Now, how many people are gonna be traveling faster than 15 kilometers an hour when going up? Probably not too many, but in my case, I travel at 24 kilometers an hour because I have pedal assist. So here we are at the top. You will notice that I didn't go through the intersection going straight because you can only go straight through the intersection if you want to turn left or right you have to take that slip lane and here we are going down the jolly cut now unfortunately going down the jolly cut there is no bicycle lanes there's no sharrows it can be quite dangerous and so it loses a lot of its points um, because it's so dangerous coming down you can see just how close cars stay to you 
to pass you because they want to stay in this lane. Uh, don't give them the opportunity. As soon as you can, don't give them the opportunity to travel in your lane at all, especially around this curve. You'll see off to the side, there's this pseudo lane, uh, pseudo bike lane. Don't attempt to travel in that. Uh, you're probably going to be traveling quite fast and you don't want to scrape up against the edge of the rail. So just during this circular section, I highly recommend travel in the center of this lane. Do not let cars have a chance to enter your lane at all. Let them stay dedicated to the lane on the left. Now, once the curve ends, I do kind of go a little bit closer uh, to the side. But during that curve, yeah, just don't let them have that chance because you don't want to risk them traveling too close to you and then you get ricocheted um, into the curve, into that railing. It's a little dangerous. Anyways, uh, up ahead, there is the connection to the Keddy Access Trail. And we're going to pause briefly for a moment because it's a little dangerous. Uh, you would have to do a hairpin turn traveling at 50 kilometers an hour uh, to turn right onto the Keddy Access Trail. Turning left, you would have to cross traffic. It's not ideal. Uh, in fact, what I like to do to access the Keddy Access Trail is actually go further down. I go all the way down to St. Joseph's Drive and I turn right onto St. Joseph's Drive, connects to the trail, connects to the Keddy Access. Uh, but in this video, I actually want to get onto Charlton. So I do recommend that if you want to get onto Charlton, don't stay in this lane for this intersection. If you can get into this lane, uh, you can't always. A lot of times there's just heavy traffic. Uh, I was lucky in this attempt. And so once light turns green, you're still going to have quite a bit of uh, momentum because it's still quite steep. And then you can get into this turn lane to get onto uh, Charlton heading west. But yeah, anyways, uh, hopefully this video showed you whether or not you wanted to try the Jolly Cut. Uh, I don't recommend it. Keddy Access Trail is right nearby, so I do recommend that. But it is there if you want to try it and have good breaks. Anyways, that's it for this video. Stay safe. Take care. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters who are helping to make improvements to this channel.